Welcome to another session of the International Crimes Investigative Committee. Um, today we will take a closer look at the United Nations, which many people are aware of that they are supposed to become the one world government as proclaimed in the Great Reset. So what is the United Nations about and who do we talk to? Well, our interview partner is a former high-ranking member of the United Nations. His name is Kalin Georgescu. It is best to talk to someone who knows from personal experience what he's talking about, rather than to talk to someone who just has ideas about what is going on inside the United Nations. Well, I serve uh, this institution uh, 17 years, almost 18. I start in, um, in Romania, mm -hmm. in the United Nations Development Program which uh, gave to me the chance to understand, first of all, the system. I was uh, director to coordinate the Romanian National Sustainable Development Strategy and Local Agenda 21, which I did for almost 40 counties in Romania. Then I arrived to different, let's say, events in New York and after that in Geneva, uh, in many other countries. And I arrived also in the board for uh, Europe in the United Nations Environmental Program. I had a chance to, to have many meetings, uh, many interviews, and particularly to understand how is running this system. But I had the chance to arrive, let's say, to the key people to understand how can work this uh, train. I was absolutely sure that the uh, United Nations is a fantastic institution which can help uh, the people and the welfare and the human being and to be a good life, to have a good life, and everything to be in harmony with the nature. Because this is my background, uh, environment, environmental protection. Mm -hmm. So based on my background, of course, uh, I, I arrived to United Nations and I arrived to be, a, let's say, call it a, a specialist in sustainable development. But later on, of course, I find um, how, in fact, the things are moving. Because when, particularly when you are going in the field, you, you find the reality. The reality is not from the office, not from the newspaper, not from the TV. It's from the ground. In the ground, I find that the most important part of the game, that the nature, the gods, the universe, give to us everything we want. Everything. So he can cover all our needs, but it's impossible to cover our greed. And the greed is not from the majority of the people. The greed is coming from a small part of the people. The main important cause is the oligarch, the world oligarch system. Are they the one who they control? They want to have the control. And uh -huh. for this reason, UN it's the platform, the bridge, uh -huh. for the oligarchist system to control. And, and the oligarchs are the ones who gather once a year they in Davos, use, the use, members of the World Economic Forum? Of course, this UN platform for uh, 2030 with Davos uh, agenda. was set up in 1945 with one simple purpose, to keep the peace. What a fantastic purpose. Mm -hmm. The problem is not this. The problem is that in different meetings, which I, I participate myself, I've, I have seen the peace very small, like a Cinderella in a corner. Mm -hmm. And she wait to have a chance to speak. And she never had this chance. She's just is waiting, she's waiting, she's waiting. And in fact, all the discussions, they were for war. 
but they don't say war. And why is it was that? It's very manipulated. Yes, they, everything is stood on its head, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. And when fact, they say peace, they mean war. When they say justice, they mean injustice. This is a point. Exactly like in sustainable development, I have been to most of the meetings, and official and unofficial, and negotiation. I can tell you how is the results. The results is that in the end of the day, is just one conclusion: how we can increase the consuming. And sometimes, of course, many of the events, the most important is the gala dinner, how we can arrive to the, <laughs> the food. So to increase only the consuming side, it's very dangerous. Because in fact, this was exactly the same situation with the Club of Rome, another important NGO. And you were also a member of the Club been, of Rome. And also I was the, the president for Europe, of mm -hmm. the Club of Rome for almost two years and a half in, in mm -hmm. Vienna in Austria. And you encountered the same problem there. Exactly, because they approach this vision that it's a limit. I mean, they find at that time that we are going too fast mm -hmm. and too dangerous. Exploiting the resources of the planet. Uh, yes, but in what sense? Mm -hmm. In a sense of greed. Mm -hmm. One is to, to, to exploit the natural resources, for example, in Ghana mm -hmm. or in Guinea Conakry. Why say Guinea Conakry? Because Guinea Conakry as I have seen myself in all the planet I, I, I have been, is one of the most um, richest country in the world. And it's very small, mm -hmm. very small, but it's fantastic rich. I had no idea. Fantastic, the best top of gold and other natural resources that are in, in Guinea Conakry. Mm -hmm. So Guinea Conakry, if they want to exploit the natural resources for themselves, this is fine. But if they are coming others yeah. from outside, this is a problem. So here we are with a natural resources exploitation because majority of the countries in the world, they have no control for their own natural resources. There are, ex it's exactly the system controlled by Davos particularly with the same agenda as mm -hmm. UN, exactly as I told you. And they control the natural resources and people on the power, because they cannot say leaders because it doesn't take these political leaders. Mm -hmm. People which they have the power, they are their employees the world oligarchic system, they have the power on Europe because they control all the people like Bundeskanzler or president or prime minister or whatever there are. Mm -hmm. Because they, they are not the employee of their people. They work for the other side. Exactly. They, they the work for the oligarchs. They are, they are employees of the oligarchs. What you're saying is that the UN is now indistinguishable from the World Economic Forum or Davos in short, because it is being controlled by the same ideas and the same oligarchs. Totally, 100%, mm -hmm. totally. And the World Economic Forum in turn creates their leaders who are then going to be elected by us through their Young Global Leaders Program. This is a point. In general, in uh, United Nations, there are coming people um, which they check before if they are politically correct. Mm -hmm. But you have be, you have to be 100 percent totally correct, totally politically correct. Mm -hmm. If you are not, you cannot be in. They try to control you by salary, paying you a lot of money. By exactly by different uh, offers, uh, mm -hmm. in a sense that you have access, free access to the transport, free access to the restaurants, free access to different things. And in fact, it's a badge. UN badge does mean that you are some, someone important in compared with the people from the street. Oh, you know this. I mean, so they, they make you feel not just they, richer than the people on the streets, they but superior important. to them. Exactly like in the banking system. Uh huh. Look to the young people who there are employees in the bank. He in his car, he can see on the street his friend. And he said, "Sorry, I have no time for you. I'm someone. Mm -hmm. I, I'm in the I'm the banker." So they invest in manipulate the mind of the people. And in a moment when you manipulate the mind of the people, the people, they sell their soul. And so if even it, though, if they, they may have started out with good intentions, they choose people who, as you said, are completely in line and are willing to sell their souls. Correct. Exactly. 
they don't like the to you or to your life to be beautiful, to mm-hmm. be harmony. Mm-hmm. They like just the black. You have to be in under control. With in other words, you know, Darwin said to us that we are coming from animals. Mm-hmm. The new Darwins, the descendants of monkeys. The new Darwins, they said they are coming from robots. Mm-hmm. And here we are. I mean, we discuss about the transhumanist process, which those people they want to impose, mm-hmm. and how they can impose. They impose it when the people totally believe that this system internationally, which is somewhere high from you, they care about you, and only if what they are saying you have to respect, which is wrong, as they are trying to push us to to dictate everything about our health. Mm-hmm. How how can be someone to dictate? About me, or and about it's you. that's another it's NGO. That's the World it's Health Organization. It's just another NGO. No uh, one there was elected by anyone. No, they are just nominate. Yes. And they are nominate in general the people who they are totally, totally slave in their mind. Yeah, that's uh, that's the only um, reason I can find why someone like Tedros, who in his own country has committed crimes, why this man becomes the chairman of the World Health Organization. Only because no one elected him, but he's nominated. You know what? I met him in uh, Geneva for a meeting, and he was exactly the definition of the slave. Ha! Huh. In the year of '60, was the great legend in, uh, in the United States, Malcolm X. Malcolm X was the leader against the slavery. Mm-hmm. Remember. And he, he was the leader of the Black Panther movement, I believe. Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. And he was assassinated, by the way. Yeah. Exactly the same situation as with Kennedy. Because he, he said, house nigger and feel nigger. The house nigger, what does mean this? The Uncle Tom. Exactly. He said, we, we, all the time is we. We does mean you, a slave, together with your boss. Mm-hmm. And you are we. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't say my boss, you said we. Yeah. I mean, because he is part of the system, house nigger, mm-hmm. which has been the slave who is totally dedicated to the boss, even that is Brussels or is Washington, Europe, mm-hmm. European Union, whatever. It's the same. And the uh, field nigger, the people which they don't want their country to be a field mm-hmm. for others. And here is the main important point, Rainer, that all the majority of the humanity People, they, they understand that what Davos said, that the control is about the financial and banking system. The powerful is where are the natural resources. Look in Africa, it's a, it's a continent which I know quite very, very well. I spent almost eight years in different missions and other things like this. So Africa is uh, probably the most beautiful part of the world. Mm-hmm. And doesn't exist free country there. I mean, Guinea Conakry can be, how I can say, the pearl, mm-hmm. can be the gold lingo bar of the planet, small, beautiful, fantastic, full of natural resources. Do you understand? Full, full does mean full. And the people that are on the, on the street with the device in the front and play games. What happened? Brian Wash, all of them. They control exactly the, the presidency institution and the people that are the slaves. In fact, the slavery didn't disappear, as those people said. It's mm-hmm. most powerful, as never. Mm-hmm. Only in a different the sense. The door of the slavery, which we know from history, was Dakar in Senegal. Yeah. Is now all the continent of Africa. Mm-hmm. There are doors and doors and doors and doors of slavery. But the slaveholders are now different. In effect, it's the oligarchs who control the, the oligarchs U.S. It's the same. I mean, for this, it doesn't exist correct political campaign. They put exactly the person who they... Yeah. They're, no they're, real elections anymore. No, it doesn't exist election. It's just on the paper. Mm-hmm. Because they know how to, they control this. And how can manipulate the mind of the people to vote exactly what they want. Donald Trump was a big shock. They didn't expect that to happen. That was an accident, I suppose. Absolutely an accident. Not the, part of their game was plan. was the first time of the oligarchy system was what happened an accident. Mm-hmm. Because normally you have to be Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Not Donald Trump. Yeah. And the process which we are dealing now uh, with this pandemic, 
and all these uh, liars was supposed to be in 2016. They in were a, pushed into into exactly early in a sense to be in 2020 to be a, a disaster regarding food and water. Ah, and I see. Which normally they want to arrive in 2025 now. Of course, they don't. They will not succeed. This is clear. The system is almost down. Of course, there are the last moments, and we have to have the courage now, all of us, to say no. For me, the most important uh, piece of this game, Reiner, is that what I have seen in UN to my colleagues is they don't have the power to say no because they know that in the end of the month is someone who push a button and in his bank account, they're coming a few thousand dollars. So it's all about money. Was there a particular incident that made you decide, I have to get out of here? The or was it a slow was, process? Well, of course, it was step by step. Mm -hmm. but the most, most important one was my last mission in the uh, Marshall Islands, mm -hmm. where I have seen probably the, the most beautiful part of the world. And I have seen how, how a disaster was made by the United States uh, with the exercise of the atomic bombs mm -hmm. in 1960 which they destroyed totally a uh, small part of the, of the archipelags in Marshall Islands. You told me they destroyed the entire tuna fish population. The tuna fish, and yeah, because it's, uh, it's totally affected right. by the nuclear things. Mm. You cannot... By the radiation. It's not exactly by the radiation. You cannot clean, like you clean the house. Yeah. It's uh, not possible, this. But the most important was affected this paradise. Mm -hmm. With people, they didn't know that what exists, the second war. They didn't know that there's these doctors. Mm -hmm. Big, and they didn't need any. Yeah, because they simply, and, and the average was 180 years old, 200 years old. Really? Yeah, and now the average is 35, 40 years old. The average they, age of when they died was? 180, 200. Oh my God. This, exactly. And now the average is 40, 40, 45. No more. Because to the radiation. The, the most important part was that in the moment when I arrived to, with the report in, uh, in Geneva, back to on the mission, they did everything, again, everything was possible to stop me to present this report. And uh, including that they canceled my uh, press conference. Mm -hmm. With the respect for the people who I met, in Marshall Islands, I'm speaking, of course, the local people, I uh, quit it. I decided to, to leave forever. It was a point of consciousness, plug off of matrix. This was done from me in a sense that UN can have the fantastic role, but it's not because it's totally under control of the oligarchs. Mm -hmm. And they, they try to push so hard this uh, situation that I find in many situations, in many, many cases that the people which they assume that there are the employees, no? I mean, from top to the down or whatever, there are absolutely ridiculous claims. In a sense that nobody, nobody can has the power to say no. Just yes men everywhere. Are there and no what? exceptions to this rule? No exception. And do you know how much cost per year the building in United Nations in Geneva, only in Geneva? It's 2.5 billion US dollar per year just to keep this building with all the employees, with all the cost, with everything. 2.5 billion. 2.5 billion. What you are doing with 2.5 billion in Guinea Conakry, by, by the way, we can rebuild all the country in one day. The fact that you work for the UN gives you other special privileges. You told me that you can travel anywhere because you have your UN passport, right? When you have the UN badge, thanks to say badge, this, yeah. you. First of all, you can travel of business class everywhere and you have all the privilege. And you don't even have to pay for that? I mean, if you travel business on a plane, you have to pay no, for it? No, everything is paid by UN, of course. <laughs> it's not by, by me, in fact. I 
I, I don't pay anything. So it is basically the taxpayers of the world who pay for this without yeah. even knowing. Yeah, it. and mm -hmm. in fact, the money they are coming from the country because it's a contribution for mm -hmm. each country. Mm -hmm. Besides, for each member state. Mm -hmm. For each member state. Each member state make a contribution, of mm -hmm. course. The, the future uh, of humanity have to be the free men. Sovereign people who sovereign realize people. that they have their own personal sovereignty. And to, to respect the sovereignty yeah. of the person, mm -hmm. of the human being. We have the UN, which could have been a great institution, but it was totally captured by the oligarchs who are running the show at the World Economic Forum. Exactly like Club of Rome, exactly like uh, WWF, yeah. exactly like Greenpeace. And we can have many examples like that. Pretty much all of the NGOs, I would Pretty say. Pretty much the biggest one, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's clear that NGO, by definition, non-governmental organization, which does mean the grassroots the needs of mm -hmm. the society, of the community, sorry. The yeah, that's, the that's what it should be. Should be. But this was immediately... Taken over by the oligarchs. Exactly. Yeah. And so they... Uh, so when we think that they're doing whatever they're doing for the good of the people, in reality, they're doing it for the oligarchs because oh. they run the show. I think they're... So when we think that they're doing whatever they're doing for the good of the people, in reality, they're doing it for the oligarchs because oh. they run the show. Also, it's another NGO give money to another one. They support different other NGOs, but it's a it's a it's a very very professional manipulation. Very professional, mm -hmm. very smart, very intelligent. Just aligned, you know, um, very very uh, soft. You don't understand that you are part of the system. If the people, they understand what does mean the life today, all the governments, they disappear. They don't understand the life because the life is not what we know today. For mm. example, we are in the house, we wake up, we go to, to the job. We are going, um, our boss say that we are going to another country. We take a hotel, we take the plane. This is not the life. The life is totally different. The life is how we can approach the nature, how much we are staying with us, how much you talk with yourself. Mm -hmm how much time you spend in one day just for you, only you. In the moment when you spend more time with you, you are more creative, mm -hmm. more elegant, with your family, with your wife, with your children. The harmony is important, exactly like in the nature. So what you're saying is uh, when people talk about spending quality time with their children, what we should really talk about is having a quality life, not just a carved a out point. niche, but what? a quality life. And that must be totally disconnected from these global corporations. And Quality life does not mean that you are going to the mall with your children <laughs> and with your wife to see a movie and to eat uh, sushi. Not. And, by the way, to believe that you are going in holiday. Please try to understand what does mean this term. We are going in holiday. This is wrong. And exactly this is a manipulation. With the money in the pocket, I'm going in Caribbean, in Madagascar. In... But normally, Holiday have to be each day. And in fact, doesn't have to exist the terms holiday. Mm -hmm. Because the life is a presence of holiday. We have to enjoy. We don't know to enjoy the life right now. Yes. They, they are very carefully for you to don't enjoy the life. Because the moment when you enjoy the life, you are in the wrong direction for them. You don't have to have emotions. <laughs> With other words, you don't have to have love. In the moment when you have love, which is the most powerful thing 
which the universe gives to us, you are not for them. You are someone wrong. Hmm. And you have to be quiet immediately. You know? So you have to be just a robot to respect and to work for what they are looking for. For them, in effect. For them. In fact, the majority of the people, they are working for them. Mm -hmm. This is a problem. They are not working for their self. They are not working for their own country. Mm -hmm. For this reason, this is so much poverty, which number one in the millennium objectives is to eradicate the poverty. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely bullshit because they don't respect anything from them. Mm -hmm. The poverty is much bigger than never. The disaster of the school, it's much bigger than never because here they control the people with the school. Mm -hmm. Because in school, in the moment when you are not free and you are just educate to be robot, you are in their hands and you cannot be free because you respect exactly the system. I want to, to underline again this point. We don't know what does mean the life and this is exactly they are looking for. Even, for example, your job, you are a lawyer. Normally, you defend a man to another one, which in the normal life, like in Marshall Islands, this doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Because you don't need a system of rules because for justice. Exactly. My report with you is to understand how I can increase my consciousness. how I can participate with my consciousness to the consciousness of the universe. Mm -hmm. So for this reason, doesn't exist. Lawyers, normally. Or politicians. Politicians. Mm -hmm. In general, who is going now in, in politics is someone who doesn't know anything. Yes, He has I a agree. job. Mm -hmm. If you ask him what you are doing, Now, this is basically true for all the politicians that Most were elected over the last 30 years, I should say. Yeah. Before that, that may have been different. But ever since they started their Young Global Leaders Program and the influence of the World Economic Forum over the UN, which is now obviously, as you're saying, totally under the control of the world, indistinguishable from yeah, the indeed, oligarchs, indeed, yeah. this influence has made it possible for them to infiltrate all layers of society with their own people. This is correct. Absolutely. With their puppets. This, of course, uh, this doesn't mean that we, we have to leave the situation like that. We have to have courage mm -hmm. and to change. Yeah. Yes, we have to be, to be involved in politics because this is a situation now which, the, I mean, the position with who we can change. Mm -hmm. The humanity today is, has a big chance with this situation because it's a chance for, what, for, for us to wake up. It's a chance to reconsider our life as was done by Creator for us, for each of us, from the beginning of the humanity. Otherwise, it's clear that humanity disappeared. Like Einstein said regarding this uh, nuclear power, which uh, you know very well what was made by them exactly in the Second War and was used. The science mm -hmm. was used against the human being. Yeah. Which, of course, in the moment when they are using that, it's the end of the humanity. Mm -hmm. So it's clear that um, we are in the wrong direction. This. And we are definitely in the wrong direction. We have to stop. Otherwise, it's a disaster. They arrive to the climate change, they arrive to the carbon uh, credit, things which doesn't exist. And this is all about money. It's not the money pool. Because through the ICCP, they're creating more money out of nothing for themselves simply by 
lying to the people about climate change, which exactly. doesn't, doesn't exist. Yes. I'm not saying this because I, this is what I think, but it's because the founder of Greenpeace, he yeah. holds several degrees, one of them in biology, I think, and he explained to us in great detail that uh, climate change is a myth. To impose a fear of the oh, people yeah, yeah, yeah. and to accuse you. That is always the major problem, exactly. fear, because that's what they're using. Exactly. And in order to keep us in fear, they need to have all of their little tools in their toolbox. A Corona, the virus, pandemic, you know, food shortages, yeah, exactly. climate change, know. global warming, all that. Yeah. It's all a myth invented by the oligarchs so that they can make money and keep us in control. Is that the short version of what you're saying? Exactly. How mm -hmm. you can control the people? Mm -hmm. Control in the moment when you use the most important emotion, the mm -hmm. fear. Mm -hmm. In the moment when you are controlling this emotion, you are the boss. And the people, they remain blocks in mm -hmm. this situation. They don't understand that this is not part of the life. Normally, you, you doesn't exist the fear in general. It exists just the courage. Mm -hmm. The courage doesn't mean the first step in consciousness. And they control this because they find that the people, they don't have to have the power to understand who they are. Mm -hmm. And this was the most important investment in the world. The society doesn't need you to be wise, because if you are wise, you are looking for freedom. And any society doesn't need you to be free. Hmm. Because if you are free, doesn't mean that you have questions. You will be a rebel. You will be a lion. And they don't need this. Yeah. They need ducks. Their society they doesn't need, need sheep. That. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Fear is the ultimate instrument of control then. Yesterday, I think, in my presentation, I alluded to the question that they posed to Hermann Göring after the war. Mm -hmm. When they asked him, how come, how, did you, how oh, was yeah, it cool. possible for you to make a, a people yeah, of poets and scientists and writers into monsters? And he said, oh, it doesn't take much. It doesn't make a difference if it's a communist or a capitalist system. The only thing you need is fear. Exactly. And for fear, they're using the pandemic right now. And then the next uh, tool out of their toolbox and then the next one and the next one because only if people are kept in fear do they follow orders all of them are on the device the device does mean everything the device is already your life mm -hmm. and this make us a lot of problems because it doesn't exist any communication between yeah, us it disconnects them from life totally mm -hmm. and exactly this they want by the way this lockdown which is totally a criminal act, by the way. Of course. It's a criminal, the lockdown mm. itself is a criminal act against humanity. I 100% agree. Because you put the children, particularly, to stay on the computer mm. most part of the day, and they are totally dependent about the system. And in the moment when they are dependent, it's like a drug. And you, you have no conversation with him because his life is there. Of course, his virtual life is there. And you, like father or mother, you try to approach his heart and you can't because he's there and you are here. Some people, some parents don't even try to do that anymore. This is I saw a couple absolutely yesterday okay. morning at the restaurant mm. and they didn't want to deal with their children. They had these devices, as you yeah. call them, these computer games in front of them, yeah. making a whole lot of noise. Exactly. And that's what substitutes as a, well, as a conversation. But it is not a conversation because you're talking, you're, you're cooperating with a tool, with a machine, really. That's probably another step into transhumanism. This is a, yeah, because the, the end of the transhumanism is the post-transhumanism, mm -hmm. which is a most catastrophic situation of the humanity. Transhumanism is a transition, mm -hmm. the transition to the robot. So we have to say no. The humanity, and this is my message, has to, the people, they have to say no. They have to use this word, which is just very simple. No. Yeah. Say no. No, I do not consent. That's the point. Yeah. So ultimately, when you're saying we have to say no, you're saying you have to say no to the UN because they are really the oligarchs. Okay. And when they're talking about peace, they're talking about war because they're interested in war because that's a good way to make money. When they talk about wealth and economic liberty for everyone, they're talking about poverty because keeping people in poverty makes them money. You control. Yeah, you control. control. Totally. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, in the moment, do you know how many there are more than 1 billion official, 1.2 billion people under $2 per day? Oh. The problem is that these oligarchs, all of them are related with the system of the pedophilia one. Because we know that there are more than 8 million children per year, which they disappear. 8 million does mean the entire population of Austria. Mm -hmm. They disappear without any information, mm -hmm. simply like that. This criminal act is um, have to be stopped. And we stop in the moment when the people arrive in the consciousness and the people, they arrive to understand that this is not their life. Otherwise, uh, we are not in the line anymore with what to receive from the nature. Mm -hmm. We receive a fantastic planet with a fantastic resources and uh, we destroy entirely. Everything is doing just for greed. For this reason, now we have not natural resources because we take everything for our greed. They are trying to monopolize our resources. It goes very far. We have learned from point. some of the people who we interviewed, we have learned they're even trying to monopolize the air. Do you know how is with this uh, situation with water, by the way? Mm -hmm. I present this also to my students and also in UN. I made a report on that. I said, this is wrong to have a plastic bottle on the table. Number one, because it's in the plastic, which automatically is not natural. Mm -hmm. But number two is that because the water have to be in any place, in any house, in any restaurant, free. Free. How, how you can have the idea to make money for what is natural? Yeah. This is for everybody. Yes. It's not only for But we have come used to this already, as far well, as water is concerned. I wonder if people will get used to being able to consume the air only if they pay for oh, it. Oh, yeah, of course. They are coming now to, to this point, yeah. But yeah. so the answer to everything is to connect with nature instead of connecting with the UN and its puppets. Don't believe what these people are telling you, the people who have been fooling you all along. Believe in what nature has to offer us. Be yourself. I mean, be yourself before there's someone to say who you are. Knows who you are before there's someone say to you who you are. Mm -hmm.